The discovery of the ozone hole was probably one of the significant environmental discoveries of the 20th century. Nobody had expected such a dramatic change to be seen over Antarctica. What the ozone hole does is it allows more ultraviolet light through to the surface. Now that's a problem for living things at the surface, mostly in fact for us. Several things were key to our discovery. One was the fact that we'd used the Dobson ozone spectrophotometer for the entire period since 1956. That continuity was important because we could be confident that any changes we saw were changes in the atmosphere, not in how we made the measurements. turned out that the reason we see an ozone hole over Antarctica is essentially because during the polar winter, temperatures fall below minus 78 Celsius, and under those conditions, nacreous clouds can form in the ozone layer. Now these clouds are stunningly beautiful. They're also known as mother of pearl clouds. And although they're very beautiful, chemistry can take place on those clouds that converts chlorine from the chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, into an active form. And when the sun comes back in the Antarctic spring, that kicks into action chemical reactions that destroy ozone at about 1% a day. One outcome of our discovery of the ozone hole was the creation of the Montreal Protocol. This is a, an international treaty that bans the manufacture and release of ozone-destroying substances. Today, every single one of the UN member states has signed up and the amount of ozone-destroying substances is going down. Nevertheless, because they're very stable gases, they'll be around for many years to come and it may be 50 years before we can finally say that was the last ozone hole.